Welcome everybody to the Sam Livecast. It's uh, Pasta Week. Pasta Week, and we're starting with one of my favorites. Uh, uh, mushroom. Mushroom. Mixed mushroom pasta. Look at the three types that I have here. I love this. Okay. So we've got um, oyster mushrooms right here. These big, crazy, ear-like looking things. They that really look like oysters. They look like oysters. Well, I guess sort of. Uh, Criminy, 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 baby portobellos. Here you can buy them sliced and uh, shiitakes. My favorite. I love a shiitake. I'm just going to yank the stems out of the shiitakes so we can get these things cut. Is shiitake a place in Japan? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, I wonder. Allie? I have no idea. Hi, Allie. Oh, wait. Hi. Um, oh, yeah. Why don't you uh, tell wait, everybody? Not only here. is Allie back there. Hi, Allie. <laughs> But Kelly's here. Hi. Kelly's back. I'm back. Hey, Kel. Hey, everybody. And back hanging out with the dogs and, and what? You're Answering questions We today. solicited questions off of uh, the Facebook and said, hey, we're shooting uh, a couple live casts and blah, blah, blah. And if you have questions, we'll try and answer them. And you're there for that, right, Boo? I am. I'm checking and we will get into that soon. All right, cool. Um, so, sharp knife. I'm just cutting these guys thin. I don't want big giant pieces of mushroom. I want thin pieces of mushroom. I mean, they're all gonna, you know, like melt down a little bit, which is which is great, and uh, shrivel or shrink, whatever. Wow, that all sounds terrible. <laughs> they really do. They really shrivel, do get small. Shrivel and shrink. Oh my god. Uh, but uh, if you start off with them too big, then they're gonna still be big. I'm not after. gonna lie, that scares me a little bit when you just continue cutting and you're looking right at the camera. Oh, I don't look, but you see, I'm using my fingers as a guide, which is a perfect thing to do, and that's why I don't cut myself very often anymore. <laughs> I just pull back, right? It's just this, bing, bing, mm -hmm. bing, 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 bing. I mean, I do prefer to cut looking, but sometimes I gotta, you just gotta do a little bit of this. All right, almost done. What's and this then, recipe called? Does it have a name? Uh, this is mixed, mixed, mixed mushroom pasta. Okay, so Sounds look at we've got me. the shiitakes here, and now look these guys, the uh, oyster. Wow, they're big, they're crazy looking, they're beautiful, and I love them. And there's no right or wrong way to cut these. They're all just going to do their thing. So I'm just cutting them like this, just to get them to kind of equal size ish pieces. Oh God, do you remember the time that I came back with Brussels sprouts of all different sizes and shapes? Oh my God, which we're not, you can't cook like that. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, you ready? Oh wait, one shiitake escaped. And you don't wash or like, no. wipe off? You know, here's the thing, mushrooms are, mushrooms are like sponges. Are you giggling? If you, oh my God. no, why is Kel, why are you giggling, Kelly? Well, because wash or wipe <laughs> off, I mean, uh, we could be mushrooms. Mushrooms. No, you do, look at, there's, there's, if you if mushrooms are like sponges, and if I take them and I rinse them, they're going to pull right. in that water, and it's not what I want. Mm. Uh, so if you have a dirty, uh, let me try and assemble this into. Wait, should we continue like this over at the table? Yes, let's do it at the table. <laughs> okay. Come on. All right. So here's the deal. <clears throat> we turn on the heat here. By the way, I'm always telling people how great these little burner things are. Mm -hmm. You should get one for your. Uh, you're tailgating and stuff like that. You don't have to Perfect always for use a barbecue. So I'm doing, putting two things in here. One is butter and one is olive oil. The butter gets it rich. The olive oil keeps it from burning and just adds a little bit more moisture here. So this is going to start doing its thing in the pan. Wait. So the oyster mushrooms, nice. Perfect. The cremini, nice. And now these shiitakes. And the beautiful part here is that it doesn't matter what kind of mushrooms you're going to use. Just use different ones because you'll add to the flavor profile of the whole thing. If you only have white button mushrooms, and then use them. But Can you switch over to your good mic? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you that this is really the way to go. Mushrooms like this. And this is going to take maybe 10 minutes. Slowly start to you know, reduce the moisture out of them and they're going to shrink a little bit and shrivel, like I said. Now I have a question. Yes. Um, would you say that these different mushrooms have 
widely differing flavors? Uh, they do. I don't know widely different, but certainly textures, yes, and, and mm-hmm. looks, too. Mm-hmm. But here, I, was, I wanted to answer this. I tried to put this mushroom back together so it sort of looked like a mushroom, <laughs> right? I'll do it right here. Hold it right above. There right you go. There. So imagine if this is a whole mushroom. Uh, if it was dirty, to take they, you could take a little cloth, a towel, a paper towel, and wipe the dirt off. They make a little baby mushroom cleaning brush that I think is a waste. I've never owned one. They're like little plasticky sort of bristles that you just would get the dirt off. Did I not see one in there today? Here? Yeah. I don't know. I thought brush. I saw a little brush like that. No, I don't own one. Okay. But it's for the, something else. the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to um, introduce moisture into these things, like water. Don't do it. Because you'll ruin it. It just sponge it up and then... You're dealing with a wet mushroom, and nobody nobody wants a wet mushroom. You're a wet mushroom. <laughs> mom's a wet. Your mushroom. mom's a wet mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All we're right. back. All right, what are we talking about today? Let's see. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. Okay, do you guys remember? Who knows what Magnolia Bakery is? Who knows? I do not know. I nobody. know that they line up around the corner. They do. That's the place. I've told that story. The first place I ever had a. Uh, uh, fancy cupcake. What are they? A designer, professional, <laughs> like not some shit that some mom made. Yeah, Ooh. I didn't mean that. Wow. Look, I don't. It's no <laughs> that secret, is going down it's bad. No secret. I don't like cupcakes, <laughs> but I didn't mean that all mom cu- cupcakes are shit. I meant, I I meant a cupcake from a store. The designer, fancy cupcake. You mean this started? This place start, potentially started the whole I craze. I think this place started the craze, and it's famous because. It's famous because it was on Sex in the City. They went there and they had cupcakes, and now people are just effing line up for it, and it's ridiculous, and I hate them. Anyway, <laughs> take my computer, please. There. They got shut down on Valentine's Day because wow. of mice. Wow, wait. What? The no Great way. Magnolia Bakery. Oh, my God. Shut down the famed, the Department of Health in New York, shut down Magnolia Bakeries after they failed their latest health inspection. <gasps> wow. Oh my God! That I knew I didn't like cupcakes. Unbelievable! Michelle must have turned over. Wow! Yeah, no, and Michelle, you know, don't think that Michelle didn't make some girl pig- pilgrimage to Magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> Many times she has. Yes. She brings them back on the plane. I don't know why I cared about that story. Wait, why is it so special? I mean, is it better than like? The normal places like sprinkles out here. It, it, or well, it is the, no, it is ground I, because zero. they it's right. ground zero okay, for it's cupcakes. Ground zero. Yeah. But it isn't is. isn't the cupcake thing now over and we're now on to donuts? No, I don't know. I thought that's what still... I thought that's what was kind of going on now. See that door? Let's go back. You see that white door? Yes. That door. Yeah. Uh, wait, you gotta I, keep. I walked. What? You gotta keep the page in place, or else it keeps moving. No, 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 no. When you first came to that shot, I know, and then I was changing it to oh, fix I it, and then you, you moved. No, it. I, I fixed it myself. <laughs> it's okay. I went in this. Go back to it. Okay. I went in this door. I lined up where these idiots are. Yeah. All the way down the block here. <laughs> I waited in line, in line, in line, inching, 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 inching. Then you get in the door, and then you go along this window, and you choose your cupcakes, and you go along this side, mm-hmm. and then along the front where you pay. Mm-hmm. And right about here is where my editor, Justin, looked at me, and he goes, I know you don't like cupcakes, but you have to get one. And I go, I don't want a cupcake. He goes, they're really good. We get inside that white door. We turn right. I take a lemon bar. He goes, no, can't have a lemon bar. Got to have a cupcake. I go, I don't like them. He goes, you'll be surprised at how good they are. And then you go across the street and you eat your cupcakes out of a bag like it's a crack part. <laughs> and he goes, how is it? And I go, I don't like them. I still hate cupcakes, even though it comes from mice infested Magnolia Bakery. Uh, but that's what, isn't it interesting that a cupcake place got a health inspection violation? I mean, how difficult is it to keep that process clean? It's not right. like they've, they're they yeah. bringing in meats and fresh yeah. vegetables and fruits and, and they're just the, making cupcakes. And with the amount of action in the kitchen, like it, that's unbelievable yeah. to me. Uh, I know. Oh, yeah. no, well, here's, they said, they said that the problem with the cupcakes was... Or the problem with the mice is that when the uh, when the um, uh, Hurricane Sandy came mm-hmm. and the basements of all these buildings were like filled with water, uh, the mice came and then it was hard to hard to get them out. Yuck! 
And they said it was also only in their basement. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Crazy. Do you know who Robin Wright is? Um, I just oh, yeah, out. I do. Take my yeah. computer. I do because of... Okay, right. wait. It, okay, you, I'm sorry you keep doing that. I, I don't know where you the You say take my went. computer and is, then you is. change what's on the screen. There it is. Robin Wright. She's go. the wife of uh, Kevin Spacey in um, uh, House, House of, of Cards. Cards, which, by the way, I'm now finished. Mm -hmm. You're finished? Finished. All 13 episodes. Yeah. Consumed in no time. <laughs> I just found out the other day she is the same woman that was Tom Hanks' girlfriend, prostitute girlfriend in uh, Forrest Gump. Jenny. That's right. You hey, describe Jenny. her as a she prostitute girlfriend. She was, she was a, a lot more she before she was a prostitute. Yeah. That and was that, like one little sad. piece of the whole thing. Well, but it, it you came, could have it, described him as his, like came, childhood love. Yeah. <laughs> everything came right to mind. Okay, here I got to do this now. So now I'm going to do this. All right, for anybody that might be just uh, seeing this, what do you have in there? I have uh, three types of mushrooms: oyster, shiitake, and cremini. 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 I don't know how to say it. So now I'm going to add some garlic with my trusty garlic press. Yep. Right here. Beautiful. Garlic goes in. I'll give it a little bit more olive oil. I'll let that just get fragrant. Fragrant for a minute. We're going to just have that coming all the way back here. Yeah, well. And there's a big wall in between us. Just wait, those that don't just know wait that. how good this is going to get. So there's nothing complicated that I've done so far. All I've done is slice some mushrooms sauteed them in a little butter and olive oil now i've added some garlic and now this is going to get good oh yeah oh, i can hear the sizzling you love that oh, i do i love to hear food cooking like this we used to have that little uh, sizzling sound effect remember right we don't need any more because now we have this <laughs> yeah oh you should smell it how good right Yum. okay uh, 30 more seconds and then i'm and then i'm adding where is it What are you adding? A vermouth. Oh. And vermouth is, uh, vermouth is, a, is considered a fortified wine, which I really don't know what that means. Somebody could maybe look it up. But what it means in practical purposes is that it can sit on the shelf and you can open it and close it and it doesn't go bad like uh, white wine would once you've opened it. You called it fortified wine? Fortified. fortified. I think it just means it's stronger. I don't know. What does it, it mean? But so here's what I'm going to do. We Sorry, have a, go ahead. You got yeah, it. Got it. Uh, which alcohol usually grape brandy has been added? Oh, so yeah, it's like know that. increased. It's like wine know. with brandy. Yeah. But I guess that's what <laughs> keeps it because brandy you can open. That's and close. a distilled beverage. The brandy. Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to add flavor. Ooh. But because when you add it like this, mm -hmm. what happens is it splutters right away. Blood. And then it gets, watch, I can make it go on fire. Nope. Don't make it go on fire. No, see, sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what happens no, when you're I not thought here. I could. I thought I could because, but see, here's what happens. When you add an alcohol like that, it hits the hot pan and it sizzles up. Mm -hmm. And the sizzle catches a little flame spark here. And, that, and it brings it back in and it flames it up. Okay. But I waited long enough. I didn't want it to flame until I, you know. Oh, you know what? That scallops picture from the Chinese New Year was right. that, that moment. Right. Okay, so we're burning off most of the alcohol now. I'll leave that for another second. Then I'm going to add this one more ingredient. Two more. Ah. Can I ask a question? Yes. Of course. Ladia, Ladia. Oh, is this a Facebook question? Yeah. Oh, hey, Facebook people. <laughs> Lots of us don't have full kitchens. How about some simple recipes for those of us mainly using a microwave? How about just with that burner? This is perfect for you, Nadia. Yeah, yeah. that is true. All you need to go out is get a $30 burner. How okay, much so is that thing? Check this out. Hold on. We'll get back to that in a second. Okay, so that burner, by the way, is about 15 bucks. Wow. Okay, so now uh, whipping cream, right? Yep. Nice. Is that what they call a hot plate? No, I think a hot plate is a uh, is like an electric thing or an induction burner. Yes. I don't know. Maybe technically in the world of cooking. No, I think a hot plate. Okay, let's just get a Google <laughs> search of a hot plate. Okay, but hell, well, this oh, needs wait. one more ingredient. Okay. So I've added, we have the mushrooms in here, the garlic, the olive oil, the butter, right? Uh -huh. Then I added the vermouth, burned it off a little bit. Now I have whipping cream in here. Now look what I'm adding. I'm adding some... Uh, Ooh. really grainy mustard and Ooh. i'm adding the grainy mustard because i want to see the little mustard seeds in this mm -hmm. for flavor 
It just got back here and it smells so good. It yeah. is the yeah. best. I love that smell. <laughs> and now this will just mix in here, adding flavor, adding deliciousness. And now this is just going to thicken over the next, say, 10 minutes. I'm just going to come drop the iris on that real quick. Okay. What's, all that's going to happen is this is just going to get thicker. That reminds me of the um, steak, remember, with the shallots? Yeah. Oh, that's your favorite, one of your favorite things. Yeah. Things. Yum. Right. Okay, here we go. It's already starting to get thick. Watch that handle. I'm going to add a little salt. Now, and now a little pepper. Okay, oh, out there, it smells just ridiculous. <laughs> I know. It's like insane. I can't believe the dogs aren't hovering. Damn this wall. <laughs> right. I want the smell. Oh, and it looks great, too. Okay, let me turn down a little bit. Is there a I'm going to go put pasta in the water. Is that cool? Yeah, of course. Hey, is there a difference between uh, whipping cream and heavy cream? Uh, heavy cream is um, it's a, it's, it's even, a little heavier. Even richer, <laughs> even richer and a little thicker. Got it. Okay. So what you don't need to see is me putting fettuccine into a pot. I mean, you can if you want to, but no, there's no reason to come out and see this. While you're doing that, I have a really easy question for you, Sam. Yeah. Larry wants to know if you ever come to Phoenix for Padre spring training. Oh. <laughs> no. no. I never that's have. A no. <laughs> that's a, you know, that's it's a... weird because he is a huge MLB fan. Who, Larry or Sam? Sam. <laughs> that's, being stupid. that's such sarcasm. We've told a story about him uh, sitting behind home plate at the Padre game and being on the phone or oh talking to the guy next to him for the entire time? The like basically entire not game. Attention. The entire show. <laughs> hey, Larry, we just answered your question, and I haven't gotten your info. You won from the We All Have stuff last time. you got to get your stuff. Oh. All right, that's doing a beautiful thing, and I can't wait for that. Yeah, it is. Uh, all right, anyway, so uh, House of Cards over, Jenny. And speaking of Jenny. Netflix, <laughs> I'm a fan of Netflix, I'm a super fan of documentaries on it. Mm -hmm. And I came across this documentary. Here's the description of it. You can take my computer. Zeitgeist, you heard of it? It sounds familiar. This documentary examines the state of the global socioeconomic monetary paradigm, concluding that we need to move to a new resource-based economy. Camera on me. What the fuck? Yeah, we we. I didn't understand that. that. You've watched that? Yeah, that's not clear to you. Is that the most boring thing in the world? It's yeah, it's weird. What's I wrong didn't, with the? <laughs> what, are what you not interested the about the state, state of, of the global socio socioeconomic monetary paradigm? No, I'm not. <laughs> but wait a second. There's a second one of those. Zeitgeist. It's the addendum, and here's this description. I'm hoping. I was looking for a little clarity. A sequel to the movie that I didn't understand that launched a movement. This film explores the roots of social corruption and offers offers solutions based on alignment with nature. What the yeah, That's even really more fucked trippy. up. Am I right? No, it's yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Weren't we talking about Wait, socioeconomic a- paradigm? And now, why are there solutions based on alignment with nature? Does this? It makes me think it's like an ecological documentary or with an ecological motive behind it i don't know, I don't know. what it's, it is i don't know how i had one table it. Did somebody people clarify? get really into that oh stuff, yeah so though. you guys watched it what i mean we watched this, it please because explain it to us i oh i can't i can't <laughs> and like halfway through i was like i can't watch this anymore it just it's like so out there but there Sometimes. are people who really get into that stuff. yeah oh yeah oh for goodness sakes i mean that's just there's a community for everything now. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing, it says it's the zeitgeist is the spirit of the age or spirit of the time. Oh. I like the way you read it. I know. You great pause. <laughs> All right. While we're on that, let's move into something else that we don't Wait, understand. Wait, while we're on what? <laughs> while we're on something that we don't okay. understand. <laughs> let's go to something that else I sense. don't understand. Uh-huh. And this would be hate mail. Oh. I like it. I don't understand it. We're used to it by now. Right. Oh, I hope we're all used to it. So I always like to read this one from the guy who said about me, hey, I remember this faggot. Wow. Everyone in Cali sounds like a total stoner douche. Oh, she's been gone (laughs) since we've been reading that every show. (laughs) No. We read it every show. Let me read it to you again. I don't. I don't like that. It brings us, it helps us stay grounded. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of that, let's hope you stay grounded when I read you one of these, Max. Oh, let's Uh-oh. hear it. 
Tell Max to pull up his pants. Looks like a fucking retard that shit himself. Oh my Whoa. god. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Okay, wow. I don't where do wow. those come? I don't know. Like no to what mail? Those come to these are these are uh off of YouTube. That was a YouTube, yeah. People responding that. to YouTube. Oh. How about this one? YouTube is just like I don't know. I wait. I don't know what this one. Of like wait, trolling. I don't. I don't know what this one was referring to exactly. Uh-huh. But the guy writes, "Hey, lighten up! It's his show, and the old guy is just there as filler." What? <laughs> wait, I don't think that's us. I think that's something we were talking about. Uh, the, oh, it has to be. <laughs> wait a sec. <laughs> the old guy is just there. Which as show filler. is that? What Which were we talking show about? Was that comment? And then he writes. Oh no, God. but seriously, someone does need to tell the kid to hike up his pants and stop oh, running I his mouth. That. Oh, oh God. my God! Is that you? Oh, that's for sure me. Are you kidding? <laughs> well, while we're on you, how about this? God damn, Max is a terrible cameraman. It sucks to watch the live cast. <laughs> so, thank you. Oh, I saw this and I emailed <laughs> you, you guys the other day, and I said, Max. I always like Max. It's okay. So you like, know. Our, um, it's I know it right. doesn't bother him, but I was like, you're not a terrible cameraman. <laughs> Oh my Trust god. Me, they've said much worse about me. <laughs> That's <laughs> all on YouTube, like right there. So no, bad. yeah. Those Another I guess if you t- go Popper? it's just I'm telling you, it's a troll YouTube is just a trolling paradise. Our show is different. It's like there's nothing like our we just use kind of YouTube as a medium to put our, to host our show rather than trying to become part of this whole YouTube averse, which is mostly focused on People getting, you know, hitting the balls with baseballs for 30 seconds and then, or cute dogs and kittens and stuff. Okay. Uh, now, while we're on uh, haters, mm-hmm. take my computer. Remember this guy? <laughs> mm. Kevin Roberts? Mm-hmm. Oh. The food dude, the guy oh, the that called dude. me all kinds of terrible things. Oh, yeah, that dude. Right? So we talked about him. Greg Rempe, who has the uh, Barbecue Central radio show, it's a great podcast wrote after watching that uh episode he writes so listening to the show this is great you know that kevin roberts is widely hated in the barbecue community right (laughs) he was the host of barbecue pitmasters season two and was universally hated by every barbecue person his tagline on the show was good smoke and luck which has now become the joke of the industry seriously Good smoke yeah, why and luck. Would I lie about that. Good why, smoke and luck. That is that it. just supposed to be some play, a play on words? It's supposed good f and luck. I don't know. Speaking don't, speaking of smoking, Jaime wants to know how much pot does Sam put in his pot pies. Oh, oh. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's we've also gotten lots of Sam as a stoner jokes over the years. So. By the way, just let me say the mushrooms in here. I did mushrooms twice as a uh, youth. Mm-hmm. Youth. And it, they never affected, they never got high once from them. Oh, I was like, what do you mean you did mushrooms? I was, yeah, I was lost. I, I don't think it. they do mushrooms anymore. Do people still do mushrooms? Yeah, yeah people, people do, mushrooms. do mushrooms. <laughs> or what was that episode of Breaking Bad when they went out to the, uh, Max? Yeah, people do mushrooms. Wait, what was that episode of Breaking Bad when they went out to, They go uh, to Joshua Tree. Joshua no, no, Tree. No, 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 wait. Not Breaking Bad. You're thinking of Entourage. Entourage, where they go out. Uh, it was Entourage. Yeah, uh-huh. And what they did, they did Magic Mushrooms. But isn't there some U2 song about you, Joshua Tree? Is there? Are you making That's a joke? No, no, no. I'm oh, serious. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. I, I just got to go like check a my whole album or something. Yeah. I think my pasta is ready. I'm still mad about those comments. <laughs> I have a question, Sam. I've yeah. got so many questions here. How am I supposed to be asking the questions for oh, you to well, answer? You can, start, you can start asking. Well, every time I do, you go, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> well, I was over here cooking before. Okay, now I'm trying to find one. I Someone is on a special low-sodium, high-protein diet, wondering if you could do a show focusing on those kinds of recipes, and that would be good. That's good. I could do that. Absolutely. Hey, by the way, can I, can I just say that uh, when you put pasta in a pot, you have to stir it well, or it'll stick to itself. My fettuccine is sticking to itself over there. Oh, no. Do you, here's the question. Do you salt your water, your pasta water? I do salt my water, absolutely. Okay. Do you and why like- do you? Sorry. Allie? It, oh, do you feel like it makes a big difference? Isn't that just for making a boil faster? I think it's like no, a, no I, I believe, I believe oh. the salt in the water helps improve the flavor of whatever's in the water. Yeah. So no, that's why I... it has something to do with the starch. And what about putting oil in instead? Uh, that's, I, I put no. salt and oil, I, I feel I like. know. People put, some people put oil in because they, they think it keeps the pasta from sticking together. Oh. If you stir it well enough, it doesn't stick together. I have a problem back here. 
What? Because I didn't stir it enough. And oh. now I've got, <laughs> I got pasta sticking together. We're getting lots of good questions, huh? What kind of countertop is that, Sam? It is teak from Thailand? Southeast uh, are they talk- Thailand? Are they, are they talking about the wood? Yeah. That's oh, yeah the Ruby. wood is Southeast Asian teak. Southeast Asian teak. And I love it. I wouldn't change it for anything. Hey, Mom, let's get a little shout out to the people who are asking the questions. Yeah, I got a lot of people. That one was Ruby. Yeah, I've got Ruby lots of was a wee too. olive winner, and she was super stoked. We're glad to uh, hook you up, Ruby. Absolutely. Oh, she was. That's right. Hey, um, yeah. Actually, Sam, ask, answer this one. Jen Levy wants to know. They're yeah. in the mood for a pasta with white sauce. How do you make a white sauce? Oh. Super fast. It's, it's super basi- oh, basically, easy. it's basically this. I feel like we've done this on the show. That's Even I what know you that. have in that pan right, right there, basically. Yeah. You basically you could take a pan. So this has a little color to it now because of the mushrooms. Who's mm-hmm. this for? This is for. Um, sorry, I'll go back to it. A little faster. I'd I'm like to use her to name. Find about the white wow. sauce. So uh, Jen. Jen. Jen so Jen. Jen. Here's what you do. While your pasta is cooking, take a pan. This is the world's simplest, uh, basically Alfredo sauce. You saw the whipping cream that I used. Pour whipping cream into it. Let it come to a simmer. Little bubbles. Turn it down a little bit. Salt, pepper. You could put red pepper flakes in if you wanted. You could leave it like that and do nothing else. It will start to thicken by itself. You saw this. There was nothing added to this to thicken it, but the heat underneath evaporates some of the moisture out of the cream, and you end up having a beautifully thickened sauce. Mm. You then take it out. You could add some Parmesan cheese to it. You could add some uh, Romano cheese. You could add a little vodka to it, right? A little vodka to the whipping cream. Some of the, the vodka is going to stay in the alcohol, but it's going to enhance the flavor. And one of my favorite things to do with just a pan of slowly thickening uh, whipping cream <laughs> is to take a big handful of fresh herbs, parsley, Mm -hmm. thyme, rosemary, cilantro, basil, all chopped up fine. Throw that in near the end. Stir that. Add some cheese to that, and you're done. You're way to the races. Yeah. On the website, cookingguy.com, I believe if you type in, go to the pasta section uh, or type in vodka, that vodka one that I talk about, vodka and fresh herbs is there. It's really, really good. Super delicious. Yeah, it was actually a little embarrassing when all the kids lived at home and they were in high school and they would come in and go, can we have vodka pasta tonight? <laughs> and they asked for the vodka not because it got them drunk because it didn't, because the flavor it added. It was so good. We yeah. just should have renamed it something. Uh, okay. There hey, I'm ready, right to, there, I'm ready to go in here and finish this off. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. You want to Why just talk? funny? To... Okay. Tell Max to pull up his pants. He looks like a fucking Aww. retard that shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Listen to him live. All right, can we, we get ready to go in the kitchen and talk about our friends real quick at Fixtures yeah, Living? Yeah, hey, uh, fixtureslivingcom on the internet uh, is getting ready to open two brand new stores uh, this fall. One is going to be right here in San Diego at University Town Center, mm-hmm. UTC, or what we now call New UTC. TC because of all the cool stuff that they did there. Yeah. It's going to be a two-story uh, fixture store, oh, and there yeah. aren't any of those, and it's going to be crazy amazing with all kinds of uh, great cooking spaces inside. My classes will now become there. They're also opening up in uh, Glendale, which is Los For Angeles, oh. at the Glendale Galleria. I always do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there is a Glendale, Arizona. but <laughs> I know. I always... This is uh, Glendale, uh, the Glendale Galleria in Los Angeles, above Bloomingdale's. It'll be an amazing store. As you go up the escalator from the outside doors, you'll see Bloomingdale's down below you, and you'll go up to the Fixtures location on the second floor. It's going to be very cool. Fixtures.com. Sorry, FixturesLiving.com on the internet. Facebook.com forward slash Fixtures Living. Like them, love them. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. That's what they do. All right. I'm ready. I love this. Check this out. Yeah. Does this look like an appliance and plumbing store to you? No, right. it doesn't. That is a great line. You're going to be there. You're that right. is a great line. Yeah. It's amazing. You're going to be there shooting some stuff this week. Yes, I am. We stood right there yesterday. Okay. Hey, can we please, can we? We're ready. I got to throw this together. We're ready. Okay. All right, so check out what we've got, right? This is this, uh, this amazing, rich, beautiful mushroomness that started with those, with those wild mushrooms, the three different types of mushrooms. Garlic, uh, 
whipping cream and that, that grainy, super grainy mustard. So here's, here's all we're going to do. I'm going to put my pasta right in here. And if a little pasta water goes in, that's all good. It just adds to the flavor. And at what point do you rinse pasta? You don't rinse pasta. There's no reason to rinse pasta. If I was making like a cold uh, noodle thing, like a cold noodle salad, I mean, I might, I might rinse it then. So why do I always... Oh, I guess I don't rinse it. I put it in a colander. You put a colander, right. You're just Dra draining. I drain it. Draining right, is, right, 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 right. Yeah. But what's happening is if you rinse the pasta, what you're doing is you're rinsing off the, this water that's got some of the starch in it. And look, you can always do this. Just add a little bit more of the water. And if you need to thin out your pasta somehow, right? The way to do it is with this pasta water. So never, even if you're going to drain it and you think you might need some, keep a little back, right? Thins it out just a little bit. And look at how beautiful that is now. Oh my God, I love it. So one little plate. Come on, come on. Oh my God, that smells so good. You like the smell of this? I love that. I get full on pasta really fast. But. And now, if you want it, if you wanted, you could always add a little cheese. I don't, I don't have any cheese. How is that possible? Maybe it's still outside. Oh, it's still outside. Shit, yes. Don't worry. Go for it. I want some cheese. Sorry. Let me think of some more questions here. Um, Sam is actually going to answer, hopefully he'll get to it, about how to season a cast iron skillet. And I think that you mean after you use it, before you put it away to season it? No, I think time. they mean when you start. Okay. When you buy a cast iron skillet, if you don't buy it already seasoned, it has to be seasoned. And that just means that's what you're going to do to get it ready so things don't stick to it. So look, here we go. Now beautiful. Just a little bit of cheese on top of that. I can't tell you how good this is going to be. And this was, apart from the fact that I sat down while I cooked this, this is super easy to make. Super easy. Oh, it's going to be a little hot. I think I can handle this. Oh my God. You get the, the little bit of vermouth that's in this. Tiny little bit of garlic. But the mushrooms are really the star. I love mushrooms. All right, I want you to make this. Um, Cast iron pans, sorry. Um, my cast iron pans are my grandmother's and they came seasoned. They came seasoned. I didn't have to do anything to them. You can buy them already seasoned, but if you have one that's not, I wish I could tell you. I think I would just scope it on the internet. I'm going to look and I'll tell you in Wednesday's show. I promise. I'll have some answer for you. Make this pasta. It's pasta week. Couscous on Wednesday. Looking forward to having you guys here. Tell your friends. Go watch on iTunes, and we're giving away more We All of stuff on uh, Wednesday show, too. So go leave comments on iTunes, and you might win some cool junk. See ya.